first crusade consisted of about 40,000 men. The crusade reached the Holy Land and through a series of battles regained the cities of Edessa, Antioch, Tripoli, and Bethlehem for Christian rule. In their first attack of Jerusalem, the crusaders failed. In preparation for the second attack, the soldiers of Christ built siege works, fasted, and walked as barefoot pilgrims around the city. This could make us think of the Old Testament battle of Jericho when the Jews marched around the city walls with the Ark of the Covenant. The Crusaders' second attempt was successful. Yes, both Muslims and Jews were killed in the initial battles, but after Jerusalem's conquest, many were allowed to purchase their freedom or leave the city. Just as the Crusaders did not give up after their first failure to capture Jerusalem, so we too must not get upset when we lose sometimes. We must try again, and working together we can do better. Notice that the Knights also changed the way they fought. They started by making a prayerful pilgrimage around the city. It is also important for us to start each game that we play with a prayer. Not because God will make sure that we win, but because we ask Him that everyone can have fun playing, be protected from getting hurt, and be his disciples even on the court or field. Before the First Crusade had left Europe, a group inspired by the preaching of Peter the Hermit and impatient to wait for the soldiers and nobles left early on what became known as the People's Crusade. Unfortunately, this People's Crusade was attacked by the Turks and forced either to convert to Islam or be killed. There were other smaller groups who began journeys, but instead attacked Jewish communities seeking riches. Local Catholic bishops tried to protect those Jewish communities, but many were killed. Right away we see a good and noble purpose can go wrong with our own selfishness. The same is true for sports. If a player gets impatient in a game, he might begin to make mistakes that lose the game. Or if one gets impatient with having to get ready for a game, and she decides not to practice, this can also have bad results. It was during this time that the first military orders were formed. These were religious orders formed by a number of the knights who desired to go beyond their initial crusader vow and give their entire life to Jesus. Like any religious order, they took the three vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. They also took a vow to protect pilgrims coming to the holy sites. The Order of the Knights Templar are the most well known for their white tunics with a red cross. The Knights of the Hospital of St. John, or Hospitallers, were originally started to take care of sick pilgrims, not as a military organization. But through the course of the Crusades, castles were turned over to them, forcing them to have a military branch of the order. Later during the Third Crusade, a third military order, the Teutonic Knights, would also be formed. The men who started these military orders knew there was more to life than fighting battles. So, too, we should remember sports, while important and fun, are not the only thing that is important. We also want to do our best in other areas like our schoolwork. The knights and the military orders wanted to use the talents they had to do God's work, and so should we.